You know me like you know me, na na eh. Mmm, na na eh. Oh, crrr. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Shabazz and this is Shabazz Safe. So this week what I was doing was I was watching videos on YouTube as you do and I was watching videos from one of my favourite YouTubers. This guy produces content that's quality stuff. I mean it's a little bit on the adult side so viewer discretion is advised. So he made a video titled 50 YouTuber Truth in 10 Minutes or Less. Now I thought to myself, hmm, I like the idea, I like the idea of having some question answer Q&A style work. So this is 50 YouTuber truth in 10 minutes or less. Probably go a little bit over 10 minutes because I gotta get that coin. But, oh wait, I don't get paid anymore. Oh well. <laughs> gotta be Joe Tasker. This really out there, over the top, sort of every single time you talk needs to be, hi guys, my name's Shabazz and welcome to my channel. Oh my God. Just honestly, it gets on my nerves. Yeah, what am I going to buy? An advent calendar that's 50 quid or buy a bloody book with nothing in it? I, no, no. I'd probably say Lily Singh just because she's probably a YouTuber that I actually find funny and I think the conversation would probably be good fun and we'd have a laugh. I think we'd have a good, good laugh. Now this is going to sound really, really conceited, but one of the videos that I absolutely love watching would probably got to be one of my own. Well, not even one of my own actually, but it's of me. It's a video that I did with Armand. It's me and him doing a sort of a Bollywood sing through. I think it was hilarious. I just had such a laugh filming it. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, right off the bat. Moogs, can't stand him. Keemstar easily. A million times I've filmed the video, not put the microphone on, or something's off, something looks weird, and I've just deleted the entire video, started again. So, yes, plenty of times. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do YouTube, and if it was, if I had the opportunity to move into mainstream, of course I'd move into mainstream. I'd have my own TV show, 100%. <laughs> I'd rele release a perfume line called, like, Shabazz Sprays or something. Or I'd release, like, a book which said, like, Shabazz Spills, and then, yeah, I'm trademarking that, so anybody come for me and use those names, I'm gonna sue you. I do not watch my own videos once I've watched them to edit them. After that, no, am I watching my videos? No, 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 not a chance. And if you're watching my videos in front of me, no, no. I think everyone has a lot of dark days. I think people on YouTube tend to have days where they feel like they're not good enough. Because I think with being on YouTube, it's a, it's a personality thing, isn't it? It's, it's about you and you promoting yourself. And sometimes when you make a video and it's not good enough and people don't like it, you almost think, what did I do wrong? And is it me? Do people not like me? And it's very, very self-critical. But just move on. Seriously, pick yourself up and think, do you know what? I'm better than that. I don't really care if people didn't like it. Produce content that you love to do rather than trying to impress so many people. If people like it, people like it. If they don't, they don't. I tend to not do a lot on the weekends, I tend to not do a lot during the week. I probably should do a lot more, I probably should be like those bloggers that goes out and does things specifically so then I can make a video, but I tend not to do that because just because I'm boring and I can't be bothered. And I'd much rather sit in front of the laptop, in front of Netflix, than go out and vlog a restaurant where I don't even like, you know what I mean? All the videos I regret no longer are available. Um, I, yeah, yeah, there's been quite a few videos I've watched that I regret and I, I don't know, maybe doing something stupid or looking the way I did. I know this can sound really controversial and I guess it's not that I can't stand her but I can no longer watch uh, Lily Singh it's just because I actually loved her before and I actually loved her content but recently I just feel like she's too busy with a celeb cameo I sort of liked her channels when she was just sat talking at a camera she's a lovely person her videos are amazing but I just feel recently yeah I don't really like them very much probably got to be the um, British people try Asian food I just think it's so funny and every time I watch it I'm in absolute stitches I'm not even in that video but yeah I think that one Probably with Joe Sog. I, I don't know, there's something about him that I, wa I watch him a lot. It does make me laugh. Um, a lot of people are very critical of him, but I genuinely do enjoy his content. I guess for me, it was just trying to be another person of colour on YouTube. Um, I think I found growing up, I didn't really see a lot of YouTubers that look like me. If they do look like me, they're always producing content that's just geared towards a certain market. And I guess I want to be able to make content that everyone can watch, whatever colour, race, religion, or whatever you are. I think it's everyday life. I'll be driving down the street one day and I'll just think, oh, do you know what? That'd be a good idea for a video. A lot of my friends and people I know will comment on something and they'll go, guess what? That'd be a good idea for a video. And I think, oh, yeah. 
For me, I'm not really interested in the dollar dollar bills. I guess turning down a brand deal will probably determine on whether or not I actually use that brand. I'm not about to tell people to buy something that I don't actually use myself. If a brand ever came up to me and actually believed in them or I liked their brand, I'd probably promote it. If not, no. Probably got to be Jack May, Will Nee, uh, Jeffree Star, Jackie Aina and Joe Sugg. Those are the probably takes me about an hour to film and about three or four hours to edit. Depending on how long the video is going to be, probably about six or seven hours I can go max. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, they're probably tired at the bottom. I just, for me, I just think that everything that YouTube is not about, everything I hate about YouTube, everything I hate about people, just that obnoxious, bullying kind of kid that thinks he's popular, thinks he's better than everyone, treats everyone like a piece of dirt. So no, I do not like him at all. Oh God, the strangest video I've ever watched on YouTube is this. Like you, I wish nothing. Personally, I find it really cringe. Like, if anybody ever comes up to me and says, I watch your YouTube videos, I'm very, very socially awkward about it. If anyone's ever spoken to me about it and gone, oh, I watch your videos, I'm always really like, oh, thank you. And then I kind of like run away as quick as I can because I'm in those kind of situations, I'm really, really awkward. I have vlogged before in the past, I just don't do anything exciting enough to vlog it. If I was doing a lot more, then I'd vlog, and if there was a, a genuine interest in me vlogging, then I probably would, but right now, no, not really. I guess just enjoy what you do. Um, the more you try to be famous, and the more you try to have that quick fame, you're not really going to get much out of it, and you're going to start getting really, really depressed. Do it, do it, do it 100%, because it's so much fun, but do it for you. I think she's quite clever. I think the way she's marketed herself is quite clever. It's not her videos, her channels aren't for me. I really personally don't like them. Well, she's got millions of subscribers, so she's obviously doing something right. Personally, not a big fan. Don't really see the point. Honestly, one of the most difficult things ever. Like some days I'll have an idea for a video, I'll film it and then I won't like it. Some days I don't have any ideas at all. So that's why I'm always asking for people to give me suggestions. Unless I was friends with them or unless I genuinely had an idea for a video or genuinely like them. If we don't have anything, we don't have any chemistry, we don't have anything in common, we're not friends, we don't speak, what's the point? Oh my god, it's so cringe but I'll let you watch it, this one. Hello YouTube, my name's Shabazz Ali and welcome to my YouTube channel Shabazz Says. I don't know why I have no idea for on YouTube just to carry on enjoying and making a lot more content. Perhaps to get a bigger budget and have some more time to do some actual skits and stuff. Uh, more collabs, that's a good one, that's a really good one, more collabs. Full of dabbing kids, it'll probably just be full of absolute children doing anything for a bit of fame. Oh wait, that sounds like 2018 anyway. Viral videos, people trying to be viral all the time and make content that is just stupid and viral. It's everyone trying to be some level of mug just to be viral. I don't know, me just doing things I like to do. I guess I'm not trying to follow anyone else or trying to follow any trends. I'm just trying to do what I enjoy doing and that's what makes me different. I guess the, the small minority of people that genuinely enjoy my content makes me want to carry on doing it and just to be able to be a voice, honestly, just enjoy sitting on YouTube and just talking at the camera. I don't really actually know what drives me. All the damn time. Quite a lot of the YouTubers I find annoying, but I think one of the YouTubers is, is Poppy. I just think she's so fake, and this whole I'm Poppy thing is just strange, and I just don't understand why millions of people watch this stupid thing. Probably gotta be this one. Liza Koshi. I mean, there's something annoying about her, but yeah, I still have to watch her all the time. Pranks. Reactions where they just sit there and literally don't do anything but just react. Probably got to be Jack May. I think just because he's on the same level banter and same level of opinion as me. So I think that'd be quite fun to do. And probably Dina Tokyo as well. Just competing with the vast amount of tools that are on this platform and just thinking these are my competitors and these are people that I'm trying to produce content outside of. I'd love to be able to do what English films would look like in an Asian setting. So like Bollywood versus Hollywood, like how Hollywood scenes or famous iconic scenes would have been translated into Bollywood. Probably. Depends on what I'm doing in my life actually to be fair. Like if I want to I want to go traveling so maybe I might take YouTube along with me. But I don't really know. I can't actually say. I do want to do this as long as possible. A million pounds. Probably more than that. 
Probably not. Um, there's nothing that really is a reason why I would give it up. There's nothing in my life telling me to give it up. I'm doing something I enjoy doing. It's a hobby. Why would I even give it up? Why would I give up something you enjoy doing? I really don't know. If I get successful with it, then I could be inspiring a younger generation of um, Asian people to think, do you know what, being on YouTube isn't that bad. Well, I've been to quite a few and I absolutely do not like them. I find them really annoying and you probably tell in my YouTube videos. I mean, I'm going to go to Summer and City again this year and probably be annoyed again. Plenty. I think I have like my entire backlog of chat videos is like on private. There's so many videos that I've got. Like you can look at the down the list. So that's it guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy my video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like, don't like, whatever. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like as you always know. If you want to catch last week's video, it's over there. Don't forget to share this video with friends. Oh, ideas for videos. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of ideas for videos, so let me know what you want me to produce something on and I'll do it, all right? Right, I better go, because it's quarter past eight. I was meant to meet my friend like an hour ago. I'm gonna be in trouble.